So I've made some changes to the workshop area. You can see the handle cases there now instead of this big old Cooler Master one. Well, that's because I switched computers. This uh, Pentium 4 machine with the Intel board um, <clears throat> doesn't like laptop hard drives very much. I plugged the laptop drive into the onboard SATA and it didn't really work at all. I had to put a VIA RAID card in there just to pick up the drive so that I could uh, D-band the drive. So I switched to this thing, which has a Gigabyte G41M ES2L board in it, um, a Pentium Dual Core uh, E5700, clocked at 3 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is the one with the stairs RAM in it. Um, I put a light-on DVD drive in it that has a crappy tray mechanism. <laughs> it does, you have, sometimes you have to use a paper clip. Um, <clears throat> this is a pretty bare bones system. I'll show you what's inside of it here. Get this uh, side of the case off here. Come on. I'll use my right hand. Yeah, I do. Hold on. Jesus. There you have it. Here's the inside of this machine. Noisy DVD drive. Oh well. Uh. But yes, it's a G41 M ES2L board. There's a little Antec ball bearing fan in the back. Uh, it's got one of those mass cool coolers that I like so much. Um, this particular version of that mass cool cooler is the long life sleeve bearing version, though. So the which means that the core, like the heatsink core, is actually smaller. So don't put any processor. So if you're going to use that particular version of the heatsink, don't put any processors that you know pr uh, put out a lot of heat onto that. This Pentium dual core doesn't put out much heat though, so that's all right. Um, I have the 40 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive in there from 2003. That's still kicking. This thing's a trooper. Uh, so because I only have 40 gigabytes to work with, I'm going to be installing Windows XP on here. I could install Linux, but the only problem with Linux is that they're going to be abandoning Flash on Linux shortly. And not only that, but Ustream. Um, but using a webcam to broadcast a Ustream with Linux, it just looks like shit compared to using Windows to do it. Or OS X for that matter. I could Hackintosh this board if I got an 8400GS video card. That's another thing I should mention. I'm not using any uh, cards in this machine, just strictly onboard video. Which is a GMA X4500, I believe? I can't quite remember. And I'm using that... Uh, uh, 250 watt Delta power supply that came out of an Acer machine <clears throat> in here. I think that'll. I think 250 watts is plenty of power to power just the board and a hard drive and a DVD drive with no cards in it. I think it'll be just fine for that. And then, and the uh, this machine over here will be fine with a video card in it since it was before. So that's an update to the workshop machine. I had to switch it out. Just for the sake of the SATA ports not working, not being very uh, nice to work with on the other board, but you got to make sacrifices sometimes. This Pentium 4 board will still be quite useful for things like uh, I'll probably use the Pentium 4 machine for the LAN party and things like that. Now this machine used to have a Celeron in it. I moved that Celeron up to the bedside computer, which will be in another video that I'll shoot later on, but. Um, I need the Pentium down here just because uh, debanding takes a while. Um, sometimes compiling takes a while if you're going to use Linux or something. I don't know if I would need to compile a special tool to scrape hard drives or something like that. Scrub, scrape, whichever you call it. Um, either way, it is, this machine needs uh, a little bit more power just because it's running on all onboard stuff. I put a, I put that Celeron from this machine up into the bedside computer because the bedside computer has a little bit more power behind it. It has a, a bigger graphics card whereas this one has no graphics card at all so the Pentium I think will just help it along a little bit, help it move along a little bit faster on all its onboard stuff so there you have it. That's just a little update to the workshop machine. I gotta finish installing Windows here so um, that's it for now. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.